Yes, so the next problem that we would present is problem C, crane balancing. And David, please present the problem sure. for us. So this is a problem that a lot of teams have had success with. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the problem. Uh, the idea is you're given a description of cranes described as a simple polygon just by listing vertices. One of those, some of those vertices are going to sit on the floor, and one of those vertices is going to be an attachment point for a weight. And what we want to know is how much weight that crane can bear before it tips over. Uh, most cranes are going to be uh, kind of like you'd expect, but you're going to have some odd-looking cranes. There may be some that aren't really stable without a weight, but adding weight can make them stable. There may be cranes that have bound on how much weight they can support, and teams are going to have to be able to notice this. Fortunately, there's a general way to, um, to handle all of these cases. Uh, and it involves looking at the center of uh, mass for the crane. If you track that center of mass, as long as it's between the leftmost and the rightmost foot, you're good, but if it gets pulled out of there, the crane's going to tip over. And fortunately, there's an efficient way to handle this. Ah, my, this is not my latest slide, but that's my fault. So uh, what you can do is just take the crane unloaded, and you can compute the center of mass for that. And that's easy to do. You can do it with something like the surveyor's algorithm. And then as you weight, add weight to that, the center of mass is going to move toward that attachment point. So you just need to compute. Uh, an a, a weighted average of those two points. In fact, you can solve, from that computation, you can solve for the amount of weight that's going to pull that center of mass straight over the leftmost or the rightmost foot, and that'll tell you exactly when the crane is going to tip over. So then you get the whole length of by Exactly. And I may have uh, skipped that part, but yeah, they want the full range. Of, okay. And I see that currently we have 24 people solving that problem, so right. this is definitely one of their simpler problems. Thank you very much. Follow the 2014 World Finals at icpcnews.com and be sure to check out my ICPC.